What's up guys? This is Brent with Western Equipment and in this video I'm going to be telling you all about the steel HSA 56 hedge trimmer and then also be giving you a live demo. To start, let's talk a little bit about the features of the HSA 56 and talk about where it ranges in the battery power lineup from steel. Now, the HSA 56 is in the AK series products of the steel battery powered equipment. Now, within steel's battery lineup, we have the AI series, which is going to be the smallest homeowner residential series that actually has an integrated battery instead of the removable battery like we have here in the AK series. And then the AK series is kind of the middle of the line homeowner residential series. And then we have the AP series, which is going to be the professional grade lineup in the steel battery. So this is going to be in the middle of that lineup. Now the HSA 56 is going to be the smallest hedge trimmer in that AK series lineup. It's also most of the time going to come with the AK-10 battery along with an AL-101 charger. Now you do have the option of getting different batteries because within the AK series lineup, there is the AK-10, the AK-20, and the AK-30. And as you go up in those batteries, you're getting more cells within the battery, more runtime, and just a larger battery overall on the inside to be able to do more with this machine. So you, most of the time, we're going to have the AK-10 here on the machine. Now, first talking about the battery, right here on top is where we're going to have our battery compartment. And it is going to be a two-click system. So we have one there, whereas we can see right here, the battery is not fully seated. And if we go ahead and take off our scabbard, which is also going to be a standard feature here on the HSA 56, we take that off and we go ahead and we try to run this HSA 56, it will not run with the battery up here. So what we need to do is click that down where it is flush with the top of the machine, like we can see there. Then we're able to run our machine. Now, talking about running the machine, there is going to be a four point system. I know this seems a little much here, but we're all about safety when we're talking about using these hedge trimmers because you are looking at an 18 inch blade here that has blades on both sides. So this potentially could be a very dangerous tool if you have kids or people that are inexperienced that haven't been around these. Having this many blade points on a piece of equipment could potentially be very dangerous. So we do have that four point system here. And what I mean is we have a trigger, then we also have a top fin. We have a safety switch that we have to push forward here. And then also here at the handle is going to be a safety switch. So whenever we're going to engage this, if we miss one of these steps, whereas here I don't have the top handle engaged, here I don't have the safety switch engaged, or here I don't have the fin engaged, this is not going to work out. So whenever we go to start this, what I would suggest, put your hand on the fin, push our trigger up. Once that trigger is pushed up, it will stay locked in place. So once we put our hand on the fin, we push our top switch or trigger there. Once we push it up, it'll stay in place. Then grab a hold of our top handle and then pull our trigger to be able to activate the machine. So it does have a four point safety system on it. Also, when we're talking about safety features, you do have a hand guard here at the front. As you can see how that loops up, that'll help protect your hand from any of those hedges. Or if you happen to lose control, you should hit that first before you were to ever to get to the blade here. Now we also are going to have a blade tip protector on this machine. So as we can see right here at the end, this is gonna be a protector that's good to keeping our blade out of walls or maybe out of concrete if we're trimming down low, down into areas that we don't want our blade to get into. We do have this protective tip here. And then we're also going to have rubberized handles on this machine. So here at the handle, we do have that rubberized grip. So you're able to hold onto this machine good. Fits well in your hand, it is comfortable. You're also gonna have a textured plastic material here on your upper, upper handle, which is going to make this also very comfortable to use. And then for a few other of the features that are going to be on this machine, one thing is that this is something that gets missed a lot is that we do have vents on either side here of the machine, right here in front of the battery. Now these are gonna be the vents that help to cool 
the motor that is inside this machine that is running the blade. So we need to make sure that we are keeping these clean as we're using this machine. If we happen to get buildup or debris, we need to make sure and be cleaning those off. And then the other nice thing about this machine is if we notice just how flat the bottom of this machine is. Very nice design here. This is something very small, something that's not thought about. But if we're trying to get up against those brick surfaces or maybe those concrete surfaces, we're trying to get this machine as close to that as possible. You do have that very flat surface there that runs right along with the length of the blade to make that a much easier cut than having if we had a bump on the bottom of this or any other part that may be sticking out here at the bottom. Instead, this is just a very smooth and flat surface. Now, last but not least, another feature that often gets overlooked is with this machine. At the end of the day, we're ready to put this thing up. We pop that battery out or we take it completely out, we have a hook right here on the back, or rather a loop here on the back, where we can hang this up in our garage on a hook right there, easy to store. We'd put that up and put our scabbard on, and then we'd be good to go. Now from here, since we've talked everything about this HSA 56, now it's time to go trim some hedges, but um, right now we're out here on the farm where obviously we have zero hedges. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the truck here, go find some hedges, maybe ask um, somebody there in town, maybe we can find some that we can trim up for somebody. So let's get going. Now, before we get going, let's go over just a few specs of this machine. So like we talked about, we do have the 18 inch cutting bar here with the removable scabbard. Now between each one of the blades here, it is going to be a 1.1 inch increment. So whenever you're going about that and you're thinking about what sizes of things that you can cut, it is going to be less than one inch, probably closer um, down into the 7 16 range is probably going to be the closest that you're going to get, depending on the battery that you have, depending on the types of bushes that you're looking at. That's probably about the width that you're going to want to try to stay at. Now, weight of this machine, we're looking at 6.4 pounds without the battery in it. And then with the AK-10 battery, once we put that in, we're looking at 8.2 pounds. And then we're gonna have a cutting speed of 2,800 strokes per minute. So just so you can compare to other hedge trimmers, you can see just how fast those blades are moving. Now, one thing that I always like to do before I go ahead and start up trimming with that hedge trimmer is to have some sort of oil or lubrication to put on that blade. So right here, I'm going to break out my little bottle of multi-lube. I'm gonna put a little bit here on these blades all the way down. And then right here, we've got a spot that is about 20 feet long and about three and a half to four feet wide here of these normal style hedges that we would see here in front of property. So I'm gonna go ahead and give these a good trim. Now with the AK-10 battery, we are supposed to get up to 50 minutes of runtime. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start a stopwatch here on my phone. We're gonna see just how long it takes to get these hedges trimmed up. And then if we have any time left over, then we'll go ahead and just continue to run the machine dry and see just how much time we can get out of this battery. So I'm gonna start down here at the end, at the far end. And once we move up here closer, I'll bring the camera in just a little bit so you can get a little closer view of just how well this machine cuts. All right, so I'm gonna start the timer now and we'll see what we can get.
Okay, so just for a little bit of an example here, here are a couple of the pieces that I cut off. These are some of the thicker pieces here on this shrub. So handling these very easily, just like you would normally think on a regular hedge trimmer. So went ahead and did a rough cut here on the top. Then we'll go ahead and work back here on the sides all the way down and then do a little bit of finishing up there on the top as we finish. So right now, that was very quick, but we are about five minutes in. Um, so we'll go ahead and check our battery again as it should still be full and it is there. So according to the time length of this battery, we've used about 10% and we've just done the rough cut there on the top. Now, like I said, we'll go ahead and start here on the sides. We get a close up view so you can really see how this cuts and then we'll start back down the front here and then finish up on the top. See if we can get this all done. I'm no professional landscaper, but I believe, you know, with what we've got here, if I was the owner of this property, this is probably about the extent that I would go. Just getting them nice and in shape here. You don't want to take off too much because um, it looks like, you know, we're trying to keep this high enough that we're covering the top of that fence, which we're really close. Now, speaking of the top of that fence, one thing that's nice is that, like I said, having this guard here on the front, this blade guard was nice when I was trying to get up against that fence there and along those posts. It was keeping me out and away from those. That way I wasn't jamming up in any of that chain link or on those posts. But we got a nice trim here on the top machine cuts very very nicely very easy going through the shrubs as you saw those couple of pieces that i was cutting were some of the larger pieces now we went for 13 minutes 
and 27 seconds. We should be about a quarter of the way through the battery. And if we click on the button here, as you can see, we are a quarter of the way through the battery. So the time test as it stands right now is going to be spot on with that 50 minutes. Now, some things that I review about this machine. Now, 8.2 pounds may not seem or sound very heavy at all, but I can tell you even doing just a 20 foot stretch of, of hedges here, it was more than enough for 13 minutes uh, for me to be holding this and trimming with it. So it does have a little bit of weight to it. Uh, the other thing that I would say is, is that it does have a nice feel to it. It does have a nice grip, but with the handle here, and the handles on top, the safety features, the fin here, and our push handle here. One thing you might wanna consider is wearing a pair of gloves, uh, just to make sure that it's easy on your hands because you can sort of pinch your fingers, which I did a couple of times here in this handle here. Not very likely that it happened, but if you're a klutz like me, that could happen. So you may wanna wear a pair of gloves while doing it. That may also just help with the grip and lessen up some of the fatigue. The other thing is, is that the vibration is very smooth. It's not like your normal gas hedge trimmer where it has a ton of vibration, where your arms are just completely shot by the time you're done with your hedges. Um, so that's very nice. The other thing too is, is that with the battery powered units, just much like a plug-in hedge trimmer, it is very, very quiet. So if you live in one of those uh, suburban communities, maybe you live in a community that has an HOA that has a very strict noise allowance there, um, then this may be something that you need to look into. So uh, overall, great unit, very happy with the way it cuts. Um, so now we'll go ahead and head on back to the barn and see just how much time we can get out of this battery. So now that we're back at the barn here, we've done our hedge trimming. Remember we had that time of 13 minutes and some change there, 13, 27. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and see how much runtime we can get out of this machine. Now remember, with the AK-10 battery, we should get 50 minutes of runtime. And as of right now, we are still showing three quarters of a battery. So what I'm gonna do now is just hold this down, see what we get for a runtime, just so we have a good idea of what we're actually gonna get. So I'll start the time now, and here we go. Okay, so we just hit the 25 minute mark, as you can see right here, 25 minutes. Now in theory, based on the battery life expectancy of up to 50 minutes on this AK-10, we should still have two bars of battery. Now, a couple of things also to consider are the conditions. When I was trimming earlier, it was about 98 degrees. Now we're sitting here in this barn where it is reading right at 100 degrees here in the barn. And so I can feel on this machine after running it for those 12 minutes continuously, it's very hot here at the battery. It's hot here on the bottom. This is where our gear compartment is. So there is a lot of stress being put on this machine due to the heat. Now I know commonly whenever we're using a hedge trimmer, it is gonna be hot outside, but that can also affect the amount of battery life that we get out of this machine. So after 25 minutes, what we have here is one bar of battery left. So I think it's safe to say that we're not going to get to that 50 minute mark, but we also did work with this machine and it is hot outside. So let's go ahead and keep going, see where we can get to kill this battery. So I don't know if you can hear it, but we're slowly, I can hear that battery dying out. Our blades are slowing up. And there it is right there. We're gonna stop it. Try it again here. That is it. All right, so on the time for the steel HSA 56, we ended up with a time of 35 minutes and 27 seconds. Now, keep in mind, like I've said a couple other times, this battery is rated, the AK-10 is rated for up to 50 minutes. Now we have to consider the conditions we talked about just previously, heat, what it's like outside, how much you're using it, how thick of branches you're cutting, how much trimming you're actually doing. But right there, you saw me do 13 minutes of cutting and then 22 minutes of just dry run before this machine was completely exhausted. 
on that AK-10 battery. So guys, I hope that this video helped you out. I hope you liked this video. I hope maybe this video helped, helped either make your mind up whether the battery HSA 56 hedge trimmers for you or not. Also guys, if you did find this video helpful and you did like it, we just ask you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you need any John Deere parts, maybe you have that John Deere mower, tractor, gator, compact construction equipment, whatever those things are, make sure to go check us out at 247parts.com. And as always guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, make sure to check out this cool video and this one. Buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here.